Are you looking to create a custom page layout for your website? By using a simple WordPress plugin, you can create a unique page layout that can be completely customized to fit your specific website's needs. My name is Daniel from Envato Tuts Plus. And in this tutorial, we're going to go over how you can create a custom page layout with the Essential Grid plugin. I'll go over the most important features of Essential Grid so you'll be able to create the perfect page layout. You can grab this awesome page layout plugin on the popular marketplace Code Canyon. Code Canyon has an extensive library of the best page layout WordPress plugins ever created that are sure to take your site to the next level. These include plugins for e-commerce, advertising, newsletters, calendars, and much more. Also be sure to subscribe to the Envato Tuts Plus YouTube channel to learn more about how premium WordPress plugins can help you improve your website. So to show you how this Essential Grid plugin works, and to show you how it can transform your page layouts, we're going to use an example website in the music industry. And what we're going to do is add a gallery of images that can be displayed on our different pages using the Essential Grid plugin. Now this is just one example of using the Essential Grid plugin. Essential Grid is feature rich and has many more uses for page layouts. Other uses include using them to display articles, YouTube videos, text, SoundCloud players, and much more. Also, we will only be going over a certain set of important features in Essential Grid, as there simply isn't enough time to go over every single feature in this video. So once you have installed the Essential Grid plugin, head on over to your left sidebar and click the Essential Grid menu item. And here we will be brought to the grid overview, an overview of all the grids that we have and the option to create new grids. So we'll wanna create a new one and we'll click the Create Empty Grid button. So here, what we brought to the Essential Grid main editor, where we have the various tabs up here that allow us to change the features of our specific Essential Grid. So first, we'll need to give this a title and alias, and we'll need to include an alias, as this is what will be present in the shortcode. And this shortcode is how we get the Essential Grid on our website. And I'll go over this once we get the grid created. So we'll go ahead and title this Music Industry and give it an alias. MI1. As you can see, the short code here fills out with MI1. So next, we'll edit the source. We'll go ahead and click the source button here. And this source tab lets us decide what's going to be in the essential grid. In the top category here, we see post, pages, custom post, and then custom grid, and then stream. So we have a preset number of images that we want to showcase with this new page layout. So we're gonna go ahead and click custom grid. Again, you can always use the post pages, custom posts, and choose to create a page layout based off those elements. And then our media source, we'll just leave it at featured image. As we just wanna show the image, we can of course have other media sources, but the featured image will do just fine for our gallery. And then we'll scroll down here to the editor preview, and then hover over and click the image. And from here, we'll click Add Bulk Images, and we'll go ahead and select the images we want to add to our grid. And we'll click Choose Images. And here we can see our grid is starting to be formed. It contains all the images that we just put in, and we can rearrange them how we would like. We can use the arrows, we can drag and drop, or we can simply type in a position. So now we're gonna go ahead and change our grid settings, clicking on the grid settings tab, and we'll adjust the layouts. We want this to be a full width. We want this to be going across the entire page on our website. We can of course do full screen and boxed, but full width will look best here. And as we're editing here, we can go ahead and click the save button. This will save our grid. That way we don't lose any progress. Now we'll go out down to the columns. Like I said, there are a lot of features here and we don't have time to go over all of them. So we'll just go over the most important ones. And for the columns, this will show how many columns for the specific screen size will show. So we can adjust the sliders however we see fit. And for our example, we'll just have three as our max. We'll go ahead and put that across all of these here. And on mobile, we'll just leave it to one. So I'll definitely suggest checking the grid on different screen sizes to see how the different columns look on the different screen sizes. And then next, we'll go ahead and check our little editor preview. As we can see, it's been updated and we now have three columns. And our final change we're going to make here is to add item spacing. 
So you can see they're touching each other right now. And we just want to give them a little more space. So we'll go ahead and put eight pixels and it automatically updates in our editor preview. And we'll go ahead and click save again. Now we'll go ahead back to the main menu and click on nav filter sort. From here, we can add our navigation positions. And what we can do is add these elements into our grid layout where we would like them present. So we're gonna have different pages for the amount of images that we have in our gallery. So we wanna include this pagination as well as add in the forward and back arrows. We can also add filtering, sort during and search, but we'll just go ahead and use pagination and the arrows for this tutorial. And you can see we have drop zones, two on the top, one on the left, one on the right, and two on the bottom. We'll go ahead and put it on the bottom here as this is where pagination usually is. Again, we'll add our arrows, add those onto the sides. And to make sure we have enough space in between the grid in the pagination, we'll go ahead and add a margin to the, to the top of the drop zone two of 10 pixels. And we'll go ahead and click save again. And then we'll go ahead and move on to the skins. And the skin will determine how the grid looks as well as how it functions. We can choose between presets. You can see we hover over the different grid presets and you can see they're all different, all with different features, all with different looks. Or we can create our own custom skin. By clicking the create skin button, this will open up a skin editor or you can adjust all of the tiny details of a skin. But for our example, we're just going to use a preset skin. And for our page layout, the best preset to use is going to be a Jackson one. So we'll go ahead and click this. And then we'll go ahead and save our grid. And then we go down to the edit preview, take a look at it. See our pagination is down here as well. So now we're ready to add this to our site. So to add it to our site, you'll need the short code. So we'll go back up to the naming and then copy the shortcode. And from here, we'll either create a new page or post and add the shortcode to one of these pages. So I've gone ahead and created a new page and to add the grid, we'll just paste in the shortcode. Then we'll click update and then preview changes. So here you can see our grid with all the images that we put in. They're spaced out nicely. You can view each image in on light blocks. If we've added a link to the image, we can go ahead and click the link button and this will take us to the link. And if we scroll down to the bottom, we can see the pagination with the arrows. So you can see with using this Essential Grid plugin, you can quickly create a new page layout to how you see fit for your website. Whether you include images, videos, audio, you can create a custom look and design for your website that your users will love. Thank you so much for checking out the video, everyone. If you like this little tutorial and would like to see more WordPress tutorials, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you aren't already. And don't forget to click the little bell icon to be notified of any new videos we post. If you are looking to learn even more, why not check out some of the other excellent tutorials that Envato Touch Plus has to offer. I'm Daniel, and I'll see you next time.